Hello guys, welcome back to Appendices Club. Today we're going to solve another uh, tutorial name called SQLI Scanner. So, what is this a SQLI Scanner? A simple Python script to scan a multiple targets of a SQL injections via HTTP headers like user agent, x forwarded form, and x client IP. But this scanner detects a time based blind SQLI vulnerabilities by measuring a response delays when sleep a payload is injected. Now let's we would like to look at how we can do that one. Let's we just write here as so let me I just uh, clear my history everything. Now okay. Now you just type it as a git clone that like we would like to go back here. So this is for a SQLI scanner. So just copy this one, then let's just paste here. So uh, you have uh, cloned the repository. Now go to here as a scan QLI. Now, oh, sorry, QLI. Now let me just type uh, here as ls minus l. Now, here have a requirements.txt. Now, just type here as a pip3 install minus a a requirements.txt. So, uh, let me just type here as clear. Let me, I can install a source from home. So, I would like to activate the virtual environment first. Now, we just type here as 53 install minus r requirement. So, everything it is satisfied. That's great. Now, just type plus minus l. Now, just type here as a python3. Scan uh, qli.python. Then, you just type here as minus minus l. Uh, it trace back a no module name as concatenate. So, okay, let me, we just try, yes, so, uh, don't try with the minus minus L, that's not work out, but uh, we have got it here. So, you just need to present only the targeted uh, URL to scan, otherwise on linear. If you have a file, so you just need to present the uh, URL list to scan, okay, either you can present the file list, then if you want to ignore, ignore the list. And if you want to set up the cookie, you can set up the no SSL check, then quick and recursive and wait verbose output. So this is an example how to utilize here. Okay, so where we have got this. So let's, uh, we would like to try to uh, test our uh, targeting testing website. Now, let me, I would like to try to a test as this one. I just copy this one, uh, come back. Now, let me, I would like to try here as a, let me, I would like to go here as a first, let me just type here as clear. Uh, then, let me just paste here, then. Oh, sorry, I just need to mention you. Uh, let me, I forget it. So, now it was a testing. The one vulnerability is found uh, here. So, where, which is fine here, a uh, directly, a uh, get vulnerability. Now, you can look here. Uh, if you present here as this one. Uh, you have an error for a SQL syntax uh, that a manually a corresponds to a MySQL server version that tried to a syntax use an year. Okay, where you have identified here. Now, uh, later we can try here as one more thing like let's we would like to go to here as your cut. Uh, we just need to log in first. Let's let me just log in here as a test and test.
Now let's just go to here. I cut uh, posters. Let I would like to look here as another thing. Let me. I would like to try. Let's. We would like to try here. A zero vulnerabilities is found in this. Uh, back to a home page. Cut. Yeah. Now no how as guest book. Test. Then let me add. If you want to look it not yet as a Ajax demo. A posters. We not yet here. Now here, let I can try as this one. Let uh, we would like to try here as a clear. Now let's just try here. Now let's we can test as this one. Now uh, it's also how a vulnerability is found. That's it. So just copy this one let's we would like here paste here where you have got here exact that's so it will automatically can detect the vulnerability of uh, with a scan a qri of a sql injections that's it. so we try to run guys thank you guys for watching and keep smiling